Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Angeliamal Mahalingam Engineering College, COVID-19. I am happy to meet you through the video lecture series on the subject hidden mass transfer. And we are discussing on module 5, radiation heat transfer. So the, this is lecture number 12. And the, here we are going to solve problems on radiation between three surface enclosure. So we theory, we recap from the previous lecture. So we discussed the theory for radiation heat transfer between three surface enclosure. And we discussed the re-radiating surface. And the, here we are going to solve problem. And at the end of the lecture, so the student will be able to solve problem uh, in three surface enclosure with the re-radiating surface on your own. And uh, this is example number 30. Two parallel plates of size 1 meter by 1 meter spaced 5 meter, 0.5 meter apart are located in a very large room. The walls are maintained at a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. One plate is maintained at a temperature of 900 degrees Celsius and other plate at 400 degrees Celsius. The emissivity are 0.2 and 0.5 respectively. If the plates exchange heat by heat between themselves and surrounding, find the heat transfer from each plate to them. Consider the plates facing each other. So after reading the problem, you write down the given data. So the size of the plate is 0.1 meter by 0.1 meter and the distance between the plate is 0.5 meter. Temperature of the first plate is 900 degrees Celsius which is 1173 Kelvin and temperature of second plate is 400 degrees Celsius which is 673 Kelvin. Temperature of third plate is 27 degrees Celsius. Temperature of the side wall is 27 degrees Celsius which is 300 Kelvin. Emissivity of the first plate is 0.2 and emissivity of the second plate is 0.5. And this is the arrangement of the plate. First surface at the temperature of 1173 Kelvin and emissivity of uh, 0.2. And this is the second surface of temperature 673 Kelvin with the emissivity of 0.5. And third surface, which is uh, the wall, the room, large room, uh, which is uh, temperature 300 Kelvin. The third surface is re radiating. And this is the network for the arrangement. Uh, the EB1 is the emissive power of the first plate, EB2 is the emissive power of the second plate. And EB3 equal to J3 is the emissive power of the room. So the resistance is neglected. This third surface, third room, uh, number 3 is re-radiating. And all these are all the resistance values. Surface resistance R1, R2, safe factor resistance R12, R13 and R23. And the values of the surface resistances, R1 equal to 1 minus epsilon 1 by A1 epsilon 1, which is 1 minus 0.2. Uh, divided by 1 into 0 0.2 equal to 4 and R2 is 1 minus epsilon 2 divided by A2 epsilon 2 which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.5 divided by 1 1 into 0 0.5 equal to 1. Uh, to calculate the shear factor between surface 1 and 2, uh, this is the arrangement of the plate. 1 meter by 1 meter is the size of the plate. A equal to 1 meter, B equal to 1 meter and height between the plate is 0 0.5 meter. We have to calculate the x value which is b by c equal to 1 by 0 0.5 equal to 2 and y value a, a by c equal to 1 by 0 0.5 equal to 2. So for x value 2 and y value 2, the shear factor is f12 equal to 0 0.41525. And you can read from the chart or from the table on the adjust, adjacent page of the hidden mass transfer data. And from the summation rule, f13 equal to 1 minus f12 which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.41525 equal to 0 0.58475 and F13 equal to F23 equal to 0 0.58475. And the value of the shear factor resistances R12 equal to 1 by A1 F12 equal to 1 by 1 into 0 0.41525 equal to 2.4 and R13 equal to R23 equal to 1 by A1 F13 equal to 1 by 1 into 0 0.58475 equal to 1.71. And the MEC power, all the MEC power, EB1 equal to sigma into T1 to the power 4, which is 5.67 to the power minus 8 into 1173 to the power 4 equal to 1107, 107.34 kilowatts per meter square. And EBT equal to sigma T2 to the power 4, 
which is 5.67 10 power minus 8 into 673 to the power 4 equal to 11.63 uh, kilowatts per meter square and EB3 equal to sigma T3 to T3 to the power 4 equal to 5.67 10 power minus 8 into 300 to the power 4 equal to 0.46 kilowatts per meter square. All the MEC power are calculated. Now, write the writing the nodal equation. So, this for J1, EB1 minus J1 divided by R1 plus EB J2 minus J1 divided by R12 plus J3 minus J1 divided by R13 equal to 0. Substituting 107.34 minus J1 divided by 4, R1 equal to 4 plus J2 minus J1 divided by 2.4 uh, plus 0.46 minus J1 divided by uh, 1.71. Uh, solving the uh, equation, it will be minus 20.5 J1 plus 6.81 J2 equal to minus half. Uh, 444.936. Uh, similarly, for the uh, the node J2, Kirchhoff's equation for the node G, J2, EB2 minus J2 divided by R2 plus J1 minus J2 divided by R12 plus J3 minus J2 divided by R23 equal to 0. And for uh, J3 equal to EB3, substituting the values of EB1, uh, EB, EB2 and EB3, this will be 11.63 minus j1 divided by r2 equal to 1 plus j1 minus j2 j1 minus j2 divided by r12 plus 0.46 minus j2 divided by 1.71 equal to 0. Uh, solving, uh, solving the equation, it will be 1.71 j1 uh, minus 8.214 j2 equal to minus of 48.834. So, we have two equations. The first equation is minus 20.5 J1 plus 6.81 J2 equal to minus 444.936. The second equation is 1.71 J1 uh, minus 8.214 J2 equal to minus 48.834. Solving the algebraic equation, multiplying the first equation by 1.71, multiplying the second equation by 20.5 and you look at this equation, the J1 is getting cancelled. So, I am getting minus of 180.032 J2 equal to uh, minus 1761.94 and J2 equal to 9.8 kilowatts per meter square. And substituting in the first second equation 1.71 J1 minus 8.214 J2 equal to minus 48.834 and substituting for J2, uh, the solving the equation it will be J1 equal to 0 0.607 uh, kilowatts per meter square. So, we have calculated J1 equal to 0 0.607 kilowatts per meter square and J2 equal to 9.8 kilowatts per meter square. Now, we have to calculate the heat transfer. Heat transfer. So, we have we know the nodal values and we can calculate the heat transfer. Uh, heat exchange between plate 1 and 2, uh, Q12 equal to J1 minus J2 divided by R12 equal to uh, 0 0.607 uh, minus 9.8 divided by 2.4 equal to minus of 3.83 kilowatts. And the heat uh, leaving the surface 1, uh, Q1 equal to EB1 minus J1 divided by R1 equal to 107.34 minus uh, 0 0.607 divided by 4 equal to 26.68 kilowatts. And the heat leaving the surface 2, uh, EB2 minus uh, J2 divided by R2 equal to 11.63 uh, minus 9.81 divided by 1 equal to 1.83 kilowatts. And the heat absorbed by the room. We have this equation Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 equal to 0 and Q3 equal to minus of Q2 minus Q1 is equal to minus 1.83 minus 26.68 equal to 28.51 kilowatts. So, the heat absorbed by the room equal to minus 28.51 kilowatts per uh, meter square area. And these are the reference books uh, what I have used for the subject. Now you can refer to this for uh, further discussion. And this is the book what I have published earlier. Uh, you can refer to it for additional problems. And you can write to me for any queries on the subject. Uh, I will answer you all your queries uh, without delay. Thank you. We will meet on the next lecture.